is National Donate Life Month, and as the month comes to a close, there are currently 112,000 people across the country who are awaiting an organ, 94,000 just for a kidney. For three Leon High School coaches, it's a journey they know all too well, a journey they're thankful to have each other to go through with. There's something special about being a Leon Lion. There might be days where you're just not with it, and they're there to pick you up. Well, Leon's always kind of been a unique uh, family type, um, we like to think. That family type couldn't have been more apparent for athletic director Mark Feely than last year when after six years of waiting, he finally received a kidney. I have a granddaughter um, that I'm able to visit now and watch grow up and sent a video the other day of her walking, you know, so those are things that um, extend your survivorship. For Mark, he received the gift of life. You get on a, the kidney list. That, For two uh, other Leon coaches, they're still waiting. I've been waiting since 2018. I've been waiting about three years. Robert Morales and Adolph Toussaint are assistant coaches for the Lions football team. This is my boys right here. They're also two of 94,000 people nationwide who are waiting for a kidney. There are some hard days, but, you know, you, you, do, you do what you can. What they're doing now is dialysis. Robert at home every night while he's sleeping, eight off three days a week. It's a scary journey, but one they're going through together. Once you start feeling better, it's like, thank God for dialysis. But you have that support system of everybody that can relate to what you were going through. I would always go and I could catch Adolf on the tail end of his treatment. It always made me feel better, you know, and I don't know, whatever it might have been, and just somebody that can identify with you, know what you were going through, and we came from, you know, we both got to do the same thing. It's a thing no one wants to go through. For Robert and Adolf, it's life until the phone rings that a donor has been found. I think every day, going, you know, when is Adolf going to call me and tell me, hey, man, I got the call. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> tell me yeah, that. Right? You know? you know, there's got to be an order, right? He's, well, he's first. He's got to go. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So um, uh, those, are, those are the things that... Uh, that and until that phone call comes, they have each other and Mark to lean on. We are looking forward to when, when it's their turn and when that phone call comes because it'll come like mine did at, you know, 1230 in the morning. Can you be here in two hours? And the answer is going to be yes. I have my bag packed and I'm ready to go. And I know they have their bags packed and they're ready to go for when that call comes. It's in the closet. It's ready. The support structure of it is just fantastic. You know, I, I, I don't know where else I would go. Nowhere else to go, and nowhere else they'd rather be than with each other at Leon High School. The average time somebody waits for a kidney, three to five years. For more information on how to become an organ donor, head on over to WTXL.TV. In Tallahassee, Allison Posey, ABC 27.